Hey folks, today we're looking at the monogram frame. This is Shannon from I Love Springerly. Welcome. This is a beautiful Springerly cookie frame, and we're going to be using this today to make a lot of wonderful personalized cookies that can be used for anniversaries, weddings, bridal showers, birthdays, any fun thing you can think of. These are the cookies that they make. Save the ones that don't turn out perfectly for practice, too. We're going to be filling the center with royal icing and letting that set up before we paint it. Get a good cookie ready. And, well, first, let's make the royal icing. Use meringue powder. Any brand will be fine, and it's a 3-4-5 ratio, which means three tablespoons of the powder, four of the powdered sugar, and five tablespoons of water. On a high setting on your mixer for eight to 10 minutes. You'll need to figure out the consistency for your piping bag. And what you do is let this drop count for 10 to 15 seconds and see if it all works its way to a smooth smoothness with no patterns. This is a little thick. I'm going to need to add a few drops of water and add only a few at a time and mix it because it does thin out pretty quickly. I'm going to be using a number five uh, piping bag round tip and you can use a number two for writing cursive on top of the hard royal icing if you like, but today I'm just going to use the colored edible um, pens. So here I have a cookie, and I'm going to go ahead and get my piping bag. What I like to do is start from the center because then you get a chance to bring it out to the edge. When you do this, you want to use a very even flow, steady and slow, and that will make your template a lot nicer. Just go really slow, let the icing flow ahead a little bit, and it's going to fill in this area really nicely. So go back and forth, fill in the center. Don't worry too much about it not looking great because that 10 to 6, 15 seconds um, flow rate is going to smooth it all out. This one I filled pretty good, but sometimes there's a little bit of a hole so you want to take a toothpick and you're going to gently maneuver some of that icing into the area if there was a hole. You also can work on the corners gently this way as well. Give it a little shake. Now let that set and rest for 24 hours to harden completely before you go ahead and do some painting. Here are a few cookies I did. This is to celebrate an anniversary date. You can also put the names of a couple for congratulations or an anniversary or a birthday. So this is my first attempt doing this. So as you go along, you're gonna get better and better and save all those wonky cookies for practice as well. Have a little fun. Look for sources of inspiration around the house. Ah, here are the food decorating pens I told you about. They're really great. I like these because they're nut and gluten free. They're from AmeriColor. You can get them on their website. I have no affiliation, but they're also available on Amazon and it's a good starter set. This one is a soft gel paste. It has 12 really nice colors. They're kind of like watercolors. You thin them down and mix them with um, alcohol. It has to be, you know, something you can drink, edible, like vodka or some clear alcohol. You never want to use water because that'll make a wet cookie. 
Okay, so here's a face I did. See, I put a little pressure there. I ruined the cookie. It's still a great cookie for eating, but you do want to let that royal icing set up for a full 24 hours, unless you're going to be very, very careful with your painting and not put any pressure. That's what I call a whoops cookie. <laughs> it was wonky, so let's have some fun and just wipe our brush on it. And I know a gentleman who will love to eat that cookie because it still tastes great and it doesn't have to be pretty. We'll save all the pretty ones for the ladies. Okay, a gilded cookie for an anniversary or wedding. Rosies and posies. I love this one. So this is an edible gilding powder. Just amazing, it also comes in silver. And you take one of these brushes. See there's a chamber to put the powder in, but I don't like to waste it. So this one's by Crystal Colors. It's an antique gold crystallized pearling powder. Wonderful, so pretty. And I just put the tiniest amount on the brush and put it all over the cookie and it gilded the cookie and just made it look so extravagant. So I think that would be really lovely for a wedding or an anniversary. Even wedding favors, you can put it in a bag with a bow. Here's an idea of the Cardinal. Um, I really liked him on these vintage cabochons I had. So I was trying to come up with ideas. And I looked around the house and saw what I had. That one's my favorite. I also had a vintage compact of a silhouette lady holding her crinoline skirt. You can do silhouettes, um, looks great on the white, so it's a black and white cookie, and you can do like a man's face or a woman's face, but I thought that looked really nice as well. Thank you so much for watching. Down below are some links. And go ahead and follow the blog link because it'll show you the best recipe to use for these cookies. I sure appreciate it and I hope you have the most wonderful, amazing day. Thanks for watching. Bye.